Welcome to TBD News instead of Movies. I figured I'd put my two cents in what's going on. As we recall a month ago, several Secret Service personnel got in trouble with some happy time with some prostitutes. Well, apparently Secret Service must have passed on their little black book to the three members to the DEA. Four. There's three agents that are in trouble. All the way over here in Cartagena, Cartagena Hotel. Jokes write themselves, folks. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm not that good of a comedian, so the please bear with me. Two head masseuses, and apparently... One of the three was with Homeland Security. And the other one was a, with a governmental affairs committee. Like I said, folks, the jokes write themselves. But the full story is down below if you want to check it out. I'm just trying to figure out between the Secret Service and the DEA didn't have enough money for the TV. They couldn't... Those channels... Those lovely channels, were they blocked? But... We've got the president in one area, which they put in jeopardy. And then we've got DEA agents. Were they using the drugs or whatever that they were supposed to confiscate with these with these prostitutes it just frightens me to think that who's next what's going to happen next Columbia South Carolina LB J. Harz is wanted for criminal sexual contact with a minor. If seen, contact America's Most Wanted or your local law enforcement. He is a cancer. Norfolk, Virginia. Robert Joel Taylor III wanted for failure to register as a sexual offender after molesting a seven-year-old child. If seen, contact America's Most Wanted or your local law enforcement. He is a cancer. Dateline Tulsa. Uh... Pretty much a preliminary hearing for the trial of Kevin Sweet, the man who who's accused of murdering his fiance Ashley and two others. They had gone to New Orleans the fifteenth of July back in two thousand eight and were expected back the twenty ninth. Did not happen. The man killed or supposedly killed these individuals seven witnesses are expected mother and I believe the father are expected to uh, are supposed to testify sometime between today and tomorrow but to cold heartedly murder someone who you're supposed to grow old with I will never understand that how someone could get so angry over a trivial thing possibly a trivial thing and just and the fact things had gone this far tells me there must have been abuse in that relationship and it was and somebody wanted to ignore it thinking that we can change this person 
ladies and gentlemen, you can't change an abuser. You can only run from one. Because all the tales they're going to set tell you, all the stories they're going to tell you, is going to put you, is just going to calm you for the moment. So like I said, Dateline here in Tulsa, Kevin Sweet is going to be going on. Thank you for watching TBD News. I was your host, Scott McCowan. For all these stories, please check the links below. And as always, I am not affiliated with America's Most Wanted in any which way, shape, and form. Cancers of the Week is just an update of those who are wanted for certain crimes. Please check out the other stories and, and other links that I do. As for now, ciao for now.